going to take a look at the spline text tool and if we go over to Photoshop you can see that the capabilities for the text tool in Photoshop are very similar to what you have in 3D Coats spline text tool. So let me use a blank layer here I'll just click to create some text. Okay. You can use the move tool, kind of relocate it where I need. And if I go back to the text tool, I can apply some warping capability here. So let's go back to 3D Coat and we'll try the same thing. Select a blank layer and you can apply depth, color, and specularity just as you can with most of the other tools. So let's try it maybe in this part of the model. Just as with the spline paint tool, the overall size of your text or the overall size of your stroke is going to be approximate to your brush size. Okay, so you want to start out with a large brush size if you want large text. You can left mouse click and if you want a little bit of curvature in your spline, obviously we'd want to add some extra points, but you could just add to if you want just a simple straight line row of text but I'll click to create a third one and you can see how it naturally conforms along this path and I can click on a node just as I would with the spline paint tool and you can change the position of your curve and 3D Coat will adjust as you go. So let me go to the tool options panel and you can select the type of font you want to work with I'm going to try Myriad Pro and we can try Bold and we'll go with 72 for the size. The more text you try to fit on the spline, the more 3D Coat is going to scale it down to try to fit all that text. So just keep that in mind. Okay. And then you can enter your text here. Let's try Hockey Night. And if I decide to add more to that, you'll notice how it scales. Okay. So let's remove that last one. We can always go back to a particular point and right click and drag to scale that point. I'll undo. And let's just go ahead and hit the enter key. And we're already by default in paint and extrude mode, meaning 3D Coat is going to paint with color and specularity. And extrude pertains to the depth channel, which works with your normal or displacement map. Okay, so I can hit the escape key. And my depth value wasn't very high, so I'll just undo. And I really don't need specularity in this one because I already have enough on the model itself. So I'll just hit enter. And hit escape. And there you have it if you need a little bit of extrusion. Okay. So let me undo and go through one more example. Let's go to the top part of the helmet here. And I'll just create some points. In a somewhat circular pattern and just as we did with the spline paint tool you can close the curve and I probably would want to subdivide it first then equalize then choose to circle to create a nice perfect circle if you get some strange behavior like this you can still modulate the width if you like but you may find that when you click on the nodes it tends to reset that control point back to its default. So if it gets a little wonky on you, just click on the nodes where you notice it's a little bit off. So let's try two circle. Uh, equalize, two circle, there we go. And many of these options are identical to what we saw in the spline paint tool. Uh, you can choose the text to erase, freeze, make planar, and set absolute height. So, 
let me go ahead and just create a little bit more here. Uncheck that closed curve and let's show that you can flip the text if you need for whatever reason. And again, we can modulate the width if needed. Okay, and if I wanted this along a hard edge, I could right click. Let's click that again. Just the width modulation, and let's choose subdivide, equalize. There we go. So probably not a good idea to try and create a hard edge with text like this, but you could if you needed. And once more, you can use your little widgets here to adjust your text also if you like. You can use it to scale and so on. So with that, we'll conclude this look at the Spline Text Tool in 3D Coat. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you next video.